hey everybody welcome back to our channel so it is friday april 13th i get confused on my days but but it's friday praise the lord for friday so i'm going to be putting together my meal plan and um i'm going to be using a lot of the products that i was able to get over the past three day super double splits and then what i got for my grocery haul this up uh last week so I belong to a group on Facebook called Frugal Family Food. If you're not a member of Frugal Family Food, consider joining. It is one of those groups that is for frugal food, um, purchasing, how to coupon, uh, maybe where to get your best deals. Maybe you have a discount grocery store. It is um, or was started by Amanda from the Fundamental Home and Tangi from Freedom Homestead. And I've been a, a member of that group for quite a long time now. And um, I post in there frequently just different things. Um, so what I did this week to get a little bit of help with my meal plan was I actually posted in the group. What I posted into the group this week was I posted some pictures of all of my groceries that I was able to get from Super Doubles and from um, this week's groceries. And I asked the people, the members of the group, if this is what you had to work with, what would you come up with? So a couple of the things that we had that are hot items for us, and I'll show you in my pantry what I mean by hot items, and then I'll tell you what everyone came up with. Okay, so here is my freezer, and I have um, cauliflower, cheese, more cheese. i move that over there. Um, veg, I actually think I'm going to take out some of this pepper blend to use. I have um, sausages, corn, this is ground chicken or ground chicken here, more cheese, um, more veg, more veg here, more veg here. I think that might be corn, so I won't take that out. It might be onions. If it's onions, I'll take it out because I actually need some onions. I've got fried rice back in there. And then over here, more veg, more sausage, more cheese, more fried rice. Um, oh, okay. In the fridge, I have plenty of eggs. I do need to cut this celery up. And then down here, I have um, some peppers I'm going to be cutting, some salad I need to cook, and some coleslaw. Then over here in my throw that in there pantry, I have um, beans, lots of beans, black beans, chili beans. Then I have this Lucky Leaf um, pie filling. I've got pineapple slices, more beans. I've got um, chicken broth, syrup, lots and lots of snacks here. Some of this stuff needs to go out to the garage. Um, onions, a few onions. Here's some of the things I've already taken out. Took out the slider buns because I'm going to do a uh, Mississippi pork roast. These are actually country style pork ribs, but they're boneless. So I'm going to put them in the um, crock pot tomorrow and make a Mississippi ribs. I've got some um, pizza crust. I'm actually going to do stuffed crust pizzas. And then I have three pounds of ground chicken here in the sink. We've got some puff pastry, so I'm going to be making and flash freezing some, um, what am I doing here? Puff pastry, I'm going to be making and flash freezing some um, toaster strudels. Okay, in the pantry, I mean in the garage freezer, I've got pork chops. I have steak, more cheese, more pizza. I've got um, sweet potato fries. Here are my uh, potatoes. That I froze and I did not parboil. I did not parboil them. And I know a lot of people said they were going to turn black. It's been about two weeks. And this is what they look like. I think I'm actually going to make hash browns tomorrow. So I'll be using those up anyway. So I'm probably going to do some uh, crock pot hash browns. So I've got three things of those. I've got some sea pack down here. Lots of pork. Oh, there's just a ton of things. Um, more puff pastry or... That might be pizza crust. I can't even tell so much stuff down there. But those are a few things. 
that I have. Uh, okay, coming over here to the pantry, I got um, lots of, what is this, um, salad dressing, lots of pasta that I can still use. Um, that's pretty much maybe, that's the gist of what I have in here. So tomorrow, Alana and I are going to come out to the um, garage and do some cleaning out here. Okay, so on the group, a couple of the responses that I got were um, lettuce wraps. I also got chicken meatballs and subs. I got chicken tacos. I got um, taco bowls. I got spaghetti because I do have pasta and sauce. I got uh, cupcakes, toaster pastries, smoothies, French toast, frittata, omelets, um, soup for lunch, taco soup is another one I got. Um, let's see what else was another suggestion. Alfredo ham and Alfredo pasta pizzas, uh, ham and pineapple pizzas. Oh, I got um, ham and cheese in the puff pastry was another suggestion. What else did I get? Oh, chicken burgers, which I had not thought of. I got barbecue chicken meatballs. Um, what else did I get? So those were some of the ideas that I got from the frugal family food group as far as the things that I showed for um, in the pictures that I had for my grocery hauls from the week. So here's what I think I'm going to be able to come up with. So for definite sure I'm going to do meatballs. That's a definite and I think I might be able to do some Italian style. And I want to do some uh, buffalo. I'm going to do a Mississippi roast. But I'm going to make those into sliders. And I think I'm going to use onions with that. I'm going to do some chicken tacos. Or I'm going to at least season the meat. So I'm going to do some seasoned meat. To that, I'm going to do some pasta alfredo but I'm going to use um, sausage here because I have some link sausage that I can cut up then I'm going to definitely do the um, we're going to do pizza pockets we're going to do the toaster pastries then we're going to do I, mm, I think I'm going to try to get some chicken burgers done and I may have to have that on a salad because we don't have bread. And I'm going to try to cut some carbs this week. Um, we're also going to do, what else would be good? Uh, meatball subs. And we can have um, sweet potato fries. Um, I'm going to do some mini muffins uh, with fruit topping on it. I'm going to do my regular egg muffins. My pizza pockets, we're going to use um, salami and pepperoni. Um, I think I'm going to do um, taco bowls. And with that, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use a cauliflower rice to make a Mexican rice. And I'm going to do black beans with that. I have some, um, I have some leftover pancake mix. So I think I'm going to do some uh, pancakes. And we could even have pancakes and eggs as breakfast for dinner. So we might have breakfast for dinner. Because we have eggs. I have bread for toast. We've got some sausage that I could use. Or we can do the pancakes. Either one. But we're still going to do them all. Not sure who. Oh, hmm. Let me see. One, two, three, four five six that's six dinners for sure so I think that's what we're gonna do um, the Mississippi roast chicken tacos 
pasta alfredo with sausage, the pizza pockets, they may be a lunch, breakfast for dinner, chicken burgers, meatball subs, which will be different. The Mississippi Rose will be the sliders. Um, mini muffins is, will be kind of a dessert. Egg muffins or the um, pancakes and sausage might be another breakfast. So I think that's this is a good start of a list. Um, I don't have lettuce to do lettuce wraps, but I'm okay with that. So I think for right now, hmm, I wanted to do something. I have several bags of cauliflower rice. I wanted to do something else with the cauliflower rice. Let me think. Okay, if you can think of anything, leave me a comment below as to what I should make and maybe what you want to see me cook, what you want to see filmed. And I'll see if I can't get some of it filmed for you guys. But I think this is going to be a good start to my meals for this next upcoming week and we'll see how it goes I have a lot of pasta I have a lot of sauce I have a lot of chicken ground chicken I actually have three bags or three packages of ground chicken thawing right now so there's quite a bit of chicken we have a lot of cheese um, I might be able to do some type of a casserole so I'm gonna write that in I'm not real sure what kind of casserole but I think I might be able to get a casserole. And I think I have a soup. Actually, I have um, potatoes. So I think I can do some loaded mash if I needed to. And that would be just to add meat and cheese and um, different veg on that. Instead of having the potato in the skin, just do um, the instant potatoes, which I do have. Or I could do the loaded potato mash using the chopped up potatoes that I have in the freezer. That may be an item. So I'm going to say um, chopped potato mash. That's what I'll do. I'm going to roast the potatoes and then I'll put like, and I was thinking about using some of the seasoned taco meat instead of having to do chips. We could do it on the, the potatoes. But I think that's a good start to a menu plan. So anyway, this is what it looks like for now. If you have any comments or thoughts on what we should do for our menu plan, leave us a comment below or something we could add out of the items that you saw in our fridge, our freezer, and our pantry, and then also in our garage storage uh, freezer and pantry. We'd be happy to hear what you have to say, but we're going to get started in our kitchen and just doing some uh, meal prepping and things like that. So again, thank you so much for stopping by our channel. If you like this video, be sure and give us a thumbs up. If you're into meal planning videos, give us a thumbs up. Just as, hey, we like your video. If you're new around here, hit the red subscribe button. We'd love to keep you as a part of our YouTube community. Also hit the little bell. That way you never miss an upload from us. Thank you so much for stopping by our channel. And until the next time we meal prep, bye now.